when you come down, you want to try and get your weight down. So if, like Steve were to shove me, push me from behind. <laughs> So if you have your hands Just out. like that. Yep. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Good wow. job. So you come back, you know. So you're, gonna do, you're gonna squat down, okay? And you're gonna fall back. And you wanna land on your butt area and make sure your arms are out. But again, they're not behind you. Okay, so as your butt's impacting the neck, you're going to smack the neck, okay? So you, you, want, you want to hear that smack, you get keep your chin in. It's okay, good. good. <laughs> He's too into that. <laughs> oh, wow! So, so you want to go slow, but remember, so if you're going to use your left arm, you want to leave it that arm, and you're going to bring it down, you're going to land on your hand, come up, tuck your chin, Transfer up on your shoulder and just roll, and then you're gonna come down on your right hip. You want to lock and come across. You want to put this leg underneath. Okay. Okay. So to gain control of him, what I want to do is I want to come in and I want to grab his arm. So one is going to be behind the elbow, one's going to be in front on the forearm and then I want to slide down, okay? So, when I do this now, I can engage and lock his arm out, but we don't want it out here, right? Because if I'm out here, what can Steve do? He can pull away, he can swing his arm. I have no control out here, so this is the whole thing where I say, when you're doing control techniques and stuff, you want the individual close to your body. You can, gain, you can use your body against their body. So, I grab Steve, bring him now, this is making him small, okay? Anyone know, how do you make a fist? Anyone want to make a fist? Okay, so most people want to put the thumb under me, right? You're probably going to end up you know, the spring the wrist, if you punch something or hit something, take the fist, take the other way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.